Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at our product and our quotient rule. These are two rules that help us differentiate more complex functions. But what's really important is that we need to remember that the product rule is used when we have a function times by another function. The quotient rule is a function divided by another function. So we need two functions in each case. Let's take a look at an example about how we'd use our product rule. So I've got y equals x squared times e to the power of x. Now how I remember the product rule was being vu plus of. Okay, with u dash signifying the derivative of u and v dash signifying the derivative of v. So we'll find them individually. First we'll assign values. So x squared is going to be u and e to the power of x is going to be v. So u is just going to equal x squared. u dash is the derivative of x squared which is 2x. v is going to equal e to the power of x and v dash the derivative of e to the power of x. Now we just basically sub it into our formula. So we get dy dx is going to be equal to v plus of. Now we can go ahead and simplify it and we've got our derivative. So dy dx is going to be equal to e to the power of x times 2x plus x squared. Too easy. Now the next one we're going to look at is an example of the quotient rule. So we've got an example here, y equals x over the natural log of x. Okay, so let's find the derivative. But first we need to state our rule. So our rule is going to be that dy dx is equal to v minus of over v squared. That is a rule that we must remember in doing methods 3, 4. Okay, now let's go ahead and assign our u and v. So always the top part of the fraction is going to be u. So our nominator is u and our denominator is always v. So now we go ahead and find their separate parts. So u is x, u dash the derivative of x, which is 1, v, which is going to be the natural log of x, and v dash, which is going to equal 1 over x. Now we just sub them into our equation, and we get dy dx is equal to the natural log of x times 1 minus x times 1 over x. And that's going to be all over v squared, which is going to be the natural log of x squared. Now we can simplify this and we'll get something that looks like this. So we end up getting 1 over the natural logarithm of x minus 1 over the natural logarithm of x squared. So hopefully this helps you with your upcoming SACs and exams and clears up any issues that you're having with the product rule or the quotient rule. Thank you.